Okay, you start at the train. There it is, back from Pike's Peak, butter to the bread. How's everybody doing today? Oh man, there, oh man. Peg, trail three, first impression run, not my full review. We weren't messing around. 26 miles, 70, about 7,200 feet of vertical gain and loss. Don't forget the loss in there. And let's dive into a neutral trail running shoe. Twisting more than I expected, more than I remember from the Peg Trail 2. Yes, we'll put a loosey-goosey on the screen for you. Just one goose though, not, not a flock of geese, but it is twisting more than I remember from 2020. We're looking at a 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe, 36 in the heel, 26 in the forefoot for a higher stack height, all right? And that does bump up the score for the weight. There's the women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen. And in my size, let's actually just confirm, I believe about 10.1 ounces, which in my size, or sorry, with that type of stack height is pretty impressive, 10.1, which is why it's getting an eight out of 10. I always say like, okay, <laughs> my size under 10 ounces, for a trail shoe is awesome. This is close, borderline, 10.1 is pretty close. All right, there you go. Oh man, onto that engineered mesh, okay? Uh, okay, let's actually do the toe, so I, I'm remembering more now to do the toe cap test. It's decent, not, a, not like a Solomon shoe, okay? So what is the toe cap? It's the front, the very front of the shoe, which is actually fairly critical for trail running, all right? You don't wanna be kicking the rocks, kicking the roots, hurting your big toe, hurting any of your toes for that matter. So it's, it's an, oh, it's a pretty solid build quality there through the toe cap. Um, okay, I believe it's semi-gusseted or is it fully? Hold on here. Fully gusseted tongue, okay, which does improve the lockdown score to eight out of 10. Not to mention, similar to the Wild Horse 7. Let us know in the comments, does anybody out there own the Wild Horse 7? How is it treating you? The padding on top of the Peg Trail 3 tongue is awesome. Uh, oh, I am, <laughs> The tongue of shoes these days continues to impress me, continues to show that the engineers behind these shoes, whether it's this guy, um, I'm not even gonna think of others right now, they're just paying attention to the laces cutting in or not cutting in to the top of our feet. And right now the Peg Trail 3 tongue is perfect. It's just uh, between the gusset and this padding on top. I'm just really, really loving it. Let's do the heel counter test, okay? It's flexing, but it's not, it's definitely not loosey goosey completely. I'm putting quite a bit of force into that movement there. All right, overall, very pleased. There's my score for the upper overall. Did I mention it's an engine? It's a, you know, it's nothing to write home about with respect to the material. Just a, I'd say more in the standard category for an engineered mesh and not a crazy amount of overlay through the toe box with respect to keeping water grit out. Uh, yeah, you know, if you're, if you're crossing a lot of puddles or creeks or really wet conditions, your feet will get wet. And on to the React midsole foam okay so if you're a fan of the react foam from nike all right this is a full react midsole we're looking at thermoplastic elastomers that make up makes up that react and ride and energy nothing to write home about standard score seven and a half out of ten okay just getting the job done out there on the trails you know i wouldn't use this for a tempo day or you know picking up the pace type of day but it's gonna just get the daily miles in for the trail running durometer score here we go yeah softer and i don't have it it's packed away 
All right, as you know, we're in the process of moving, and the Peg Trail 2, I believe it's actually in the storage unit. Oh, I can't wait to get more of my shoes into one location so that I can compare, especially the durometer score. So this guy is giving more so than I remember in 2020, which gets me very, very excited. Just a little more forgiveness under step compared to last year's iteration. So there's my score for the overall midsole. And I do think it's going to go the distance. I'll get you my durability prediction here in a minute. And for that outsole, all right, it's screaming commuter shoe that's right transitioning from the pavement and concrete where you live onto the trails this is going to be more so Ooh, where is it all right let's go oh let's go there okay we've got the terra tiger and we've got the wild horse more so than the wild horse 7 and the terra tiger 7 the peg trail 3 definitely is falling into the commuter shoe category way more so partially because of the midsole ride but mostly because of that outsole uh, lug depth, okay? I believe we're looking at about four millimeters, which I think is, ma'am, again, I'm leaning more toward the three to four range. But anyway, they're saying four millimeters for that lug depth in there. So overall score for the outs, I'm very pleased, eight out of 10. And I think the, yeah, not too aggressive, but just enough to bite the dirt out there as your training fit true to size, a little narrow through the midfoot and Nike's known for that and in the heel I prefer that especially in the heel pocket you don't want to be slip any heel slipping anytime whether it's road running or trail but especially trail running when the vertical starts to pick up a little bit because you're putting so much torque and yeah just torque into your Achilles tendon and your heel you really don't want that heel to be slipping at all so um, toe box was fine not too narrow in the toe box but midfoot and heel a little bit on the on the narrower side just keep that in mind which I prefer for a trail shoe comfort score not too shabby okay almost in the eights but not quite not a plush upper a little above average for the comfort in the peg trail three positives and drawbacks my positive is going to be it's an improved ride from 2020 I do believe and again, I'll get that peg trail two out of storage very, very soon. And the drawback is I am going to put a little challenge out there, Nike. In 2022, consider making a peg trail four with a slightly lower stack height. First of all, drop the weight, maybe a little more stability out there on the trails. And I'm not saying you want a ton of ground contact feel when you're running over rocky surfaces, but I'd be fascinated to see this shoe with let's say two to three millimeters less, especially in the heel for the stack height. That's my drop, just it's more of an idea for you, Nike. So Nike Trail, if you're listening, fly me out to Beaverton. I'll come hang out. We'll go test some trail shoes together and I'll give you some thoughts. Just putting it out there, Nike. All right, here we go. Moving on to the durability prediction, 600 plus miles. It's built like, all right, it's not built like Solomon. It's not built like Innovate, but it's going to go the distance, okay? It's going to get a good, solid, like, especially that React midsole. I have found over the years of testing React, the, the React midsole foam just keeps going and going, and it doesn't break down uh, like some other foams out there from Nike. All right, here we go. Who's the best for? How will I use it? Definitely classic daily trainer. And who is the best for? Man, uh, well, first of all, for a trail shoe, let's get into it. Price point, $130. I think that's an amazing value for the build quality that you are getting. I think, again, it's going to go the distance. So if you want to save a little bit of money. And so, you know, a lot of trail shoes are starting these days in the 140 to 150 range and very quickly get into 150, 160 range for daily trainers. So the fact that they're able to put this at the 130 price point gets me very excited. And if you get this shoe and you take it past 300, especially past 500 or 600 miles, we would love, DGR would love to see those photos, okay? And actually, more on that in another vlog very, very soon. Here we go. Other shoes to buy on your screen. The Speed Goat, the Wild Horse 7. Oh, here's a curveball. The Hero V6, which I just wrapped up testing. Okay, the Hero V6 from New Balance. And a throwback to last year, the ATR6 Challenger, the Challenger ATR6 from 2020. All right, shoe quick specs for the Nike 
tra uh, Pegasus Trail 3 on your screen. All right, 36 and 26 for that 10 millimeter drop. Uh, engineered mesh, React midsole foam, $130. All right, now, this is just my early score, not 50 mile full review. I think we're going to get there, but it's going to take a while. 8.0. Dead even. Eight out of ten. That, that tells you I'm pretty excited about this guy, all right? More so than the Wild Horse, okay? Which is very, very interesting because I really did enjoy the Wild Horse in 2020, all right? There you have it. 8.0 out of ten. Comment of the day, question of the day. Shout out to the Running Mama. This is being uh, drawn from the vlog where I took this shoe up and down pike's peak okay so the running mama says couldn't sleep so here i am bright and early thanks for a terrific video this morning so excited to see you back on pike's peak thank you running mama and really enjoyed the mountain running shots also love the real life break for henry that's all oh, i think henry yeah <laughs> henry um i think henry fell in the vlog and started screaming and i had to sprint away from the camera i think is what happened is what you're talking about running mama she says we have six kids you're putting us down you had six we have four kids you have six that's amazing we have six kids so i get real life and i love that you include it here on youtube also loved all the advice in yesterday's comments so helpful on both a practical and inspirational level thank you running mama for tuning in and um yeah, gosh, good on you. Getting out there, turning the doorknob with six kiddos. Unbelievable. Very inspiring. Okay, here we go. Question of the day. Um, kind of a different different arena. Uh, I've asked about, do you have a run? There's that fly. There's that fly. It's like that time of year out here. Soon, no flies in the new studio. Soon, soon, soon. Um, here we go. I've asked, do you have a running role model? Instead, I want to pivot today to... Do you have a career role model? Your job, do you have a role model? Okay, I'm just curious. Like, you know, somebody that you look up to, somebody that helps you in decision making in your career. Very interested to hear. And how has that person helped you? Down below in the comments. All right, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. DGR Strong. Here we go. Peg Trail 3, early score 8 out of 10. We will toss it to. The Peg Trail 2, which I was frankly not that excited about last year. Peg Trail 2 from 2020. Peg Trail 2 right there, right there, right there. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. All right. See you tomorrow.